I love bulbs and pots for the spring. Uh, there's just nothing better for real impact and it's like kind of gardening in miniature. And this is a very good example. And so these are full of uh, a non-peat base, multi-purpose potting compost uh, with some soil put in it, some garden soil and some manure for added nutrition. And then what we've done is we've put tulips in here and this is the white garden collection which has exotic emperor and purissima in it and then we've also so we've got a succession planted some later because that flowers early that that collection and then just coming now is the uh, primrose and ivory tulip collection which as these go over we can deadhead them and then these come up through but the thing that makes this pot without doubt is uh, without doubt is cerinthi and we planted those over the top so the first layer of tulips are in at six inches. Then we've got another layer at four inches, the second collection. And then we've got Cerinthi over the top. And that's been growing all the way through the winter out here and has survived the winter fine. And then the tulips have come up through it. And that's in, in fact, a concrete pot that I've just painted with a color that I quite like, a sort of lovety green. And so a really, really cheap as chips pot, basically, that I got at a local garden center painted. Because we're on a farm, we use quite a lot of zinc pots too. And this has got exactly the same system, but the thing, we've got three lovely tulips here. And underneath it, we've got the really highly scented stock called Matiola incarna, perennial form. It's not flowering yet, but as the tulips go over, we can deadhead it. It's nice having the foliage below them and then up come the stock to flower. And again, they're planted at six inches and then a second there at four inches and then the Matiola over the top. And for those of you who've got smaller gardens and want smaller pots, or perhaps have got an urban garden and you want a couple of pots on your doorstep, then this kind of thing is ideal, where um, we've actually used the depth of the pot more than the girth, if you see what I mean. And so I've put five tulips at about eight inches deep, five tulips three inches above, five tulips two or three inches above that, and you, you're then still just about below the soil surface. You're just about meeting the soil surface, if you see what I mean. And that's what we've got. So we've got burgundy, anthracite, and here we've got tambour matre just coming. And so on the whole, you want to put the, the earliest and, um, well, it tends to be the smallest, but the earliest goes deepest. And so we put anthracite deepest, then burgundy next, and then on the top, which is the latest, the tambour matre. And so you actually can get 15 bulbs easily in a pot that size. And once you've planted, just water well. Whenever you've planted anything, water it in well. But then, because you're not gonna be planting till October or November, you're not gonna to need to water again because it's bound to rain if it's sitting outside. And then they'll just grow up really well and they'll start to sprout in sort of March. By that time, if it doesn't rain, we've had a very dry spring this spring. If it doesn't rain, we water twice a week, but otherwise just let them get on with it.